Good day. Ozzy Bonsai bloke here. How you going? Good day, guys. First video for nearly a year. Um, we had a massive tragedy, and well, I've been in a really dark, deep hole. And unless I try and climb out of that hole soon and find some light, well, I may never get out of it. So here we are. We're going to work on a tree. Get back into it. Um, as far as my bonsai, well, I've pretty much sold maybe 20% of them, um, and still have probably 100 left. So plenty, plenty left, and I've neglected them, not fertilised them, let the weeds grow, as you can see. And it's time to get back into it. Beautiful day today. We had a rainy day yesterday, so. Beautiful day today, sun's out, almost too hot in a jumper, even though we're middle of winter here, and we're going to work on this bottle brush. So, this bottle brush um, I've had for years, you'll see it in a lot of videos, and it's still going okay, but generally I trim them in March, April, and March, April um, has been and gone, now we're here in mid-June and if you trim them in late March April which is early autumn to mid-autumn and then don't trim it again you'll end up getting a lot of flowers in probably November which is start of summer or no last month of spring you'll get a good flush of flowers last month of spring but I didn't do that this year, so this is going to be a bit of an experiment. Um, cutting it back pretty late, like late June. So it'll be interesting. I probably won't get any flowers, but I have to cut it back anyway, because if I don't cut it back now, um, the branches are going to get too long and leggy, and then they'll divide new growth out further, and it's going to have to all be chopped off, so it'll be wasted growth. So today we're going to get in there. We're going to chop it back. I'm going to do some weeding. So... Do a bit of weeding, a bit of trimming, and this tree should be starting to look pretty good again. It's aging really well and it's getting a lot of lichen on it. So anyway, I will do the weeding. Let's do that. Okay, weeding's done. Good enough for now. I'll probably re-moss it later because there's a fair bit of fair bit of um, Irish moss in here and uh, liverwort. For now, that's good enough. Um, that's the actual front of the tree and I'll try and show you a bit of the lichen growing on everything. I'm liking the lichen. So yeah, liking the lichen. Making it look super old and gnarly. Tree itself is super healthy with, even with all the lichen on it. Some people try to say that lichen only grows on dying branches but I don't think so. Trees are looking really good. I might swap around and sit in the sun uh, with the sun the other way because I think it's probably hard for you guys to see. So let's do that and let's start trimming the tree. Only going to need a pair of snips for this video. It's going to be a quick, simple video. Just a bit of trimming on the old bottle brush. Alright guys, so I've spun you around and we're going to work on maybe one branch. I might bring the camera up close, work on one branch, show you guys the uh, method of doing that. This thing will look fairly bare once it's finished, and I'll probably have to protect it from frost because I don't really like frost. I've had a couple already. And then, um, yeah, once I've done one branch, I might do a hyperlapse of the rest, and you guys will get the idea. Right, let's get into it. All right, guys. I'll trim this one branch out the way because that's sort of smothering it from another one and then let's get into this branch so you can see where the growth stops here hope you can yeah so you can see where the growth stops here you've now got all these long sections what we're going to do is we're just going to cut it back to a very short section first or second pair of leaves depending on how the branch is growing 
If you do cut these back to no leaves, they will still shoot again, so don't worry about that. And anywhere like here where there's one in behind, which is technically like three to four branches from one spot, I'm going to chop it off. And there's one underneath here, making it three from one spot. So I'll chop that off. Now I've only got two, and then it'll divide out, divide out. And in some cases, we have a bit of back budding like this one. Um, that one's probably not necessary because you've got this branch over here. Although this branch over here is very long with no ramifications. So you've got two options. You could chop this one back to here like that. Or you could take and then take that one off. Or you could take this one fully off and then shorten that one. This one here will this one here will back bud if we cut this one off. So I think because of the maturity of the rest of it, we'll opt to keep this one here with no leaves on now, but it will back bud. There are some dead branches in here too, from lack of care and maintenance, I guess. Um, because I haven't trimmed it during summer, it got shaded pretty well which caused a lot of the inner branches to die off or get long and leggy. So here we've got an issue where there's a dead piece here. We'll cut that out. Now you can see we've still got four shoots from one spot. So we're going to cut one off, then choose between these two. One growing down, two growing up on most trees, I like to keep the ones growing up, so I'm going to cut off the one growing down. And now we only have two on that one. As I said, this is going to look pretty bare when I'm finished. Here we've got another cluster. And to make it simple, I'm going to keep the two closest ones and then chop the rest of that cluster completely off. So that will get us back to two branches. Then we're just going to shorten and shorten and we're back to that then we come up to this branch cut off the dead bit here you can see it's a little bit long here going into a leaf there a leaf here and another leaf here there's only ever two from one spot here so I'm going to opt to keep all of that little stuff and now that it'll get some sunlight and I'll put some fertilizer on it which I haven't been doing that should hopefully back bud and shoot out a new bud from the tip. So there we go, cut that one off too. And there's, you know, a few branches already done. And I'll just keep working away in here. Another one. So this is a lower branch. Lower branches, I like, like to keep the strong ones. So I will opt to keep this strong one on this side and chop the weak one off that side. Then we've got a nice one underneath with a lot of different branching on it. And also the little one growing out here. So I'll keep that little one, shorten that one, shorten these two. Then we're left with this one big one back here. And I'll also shorten that one. <coughs> Moving on to the next one. We'll do the same. It's going to be hard, getting harder to see because it's getting further in. All right, I've moved the camera. Let's go again. So here, three from one location. I don't like this little weak one underneath. We'll chop that one off. Shorten, shorten. Here. It goes from one to two to then three. Both of them, this one has two shoots, we'll shorten that, shorten that one, keep a couple leaves, shorten this one to a couple leaves, and there you go, you got one to two to four to probably nearly eight by the time you finish there, and it'll all reshoot and look quite nice in a couple more months, and who knows, we may still get flowers, we don't know, we'll have to wait and see. Chop this one back shorter. Chop this one back shorter. 
cut the growing tip off this one. Uh, we've got this one underneath. We've got one growing out of the crutch here, so we'll cut that one off. Now we've got two short ones here growing, so let's cut back to those. Shorten those. You can see we're cutting a lot off, but it's going to benefit the tree in the long run. Wouldn't have had to cut so much off if I'd looked after it and chopped it, chopped it earlier. But as you know, I haven't been doing any tree work, so it is what it is, and I have to get in there and deal with it now. And it will only set it back a few months, so it's not too bad. So cut, shorten, 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 shorten. Camera's in the way of the bloody light. Come over this side. Alright, <clears throat> so here you can see we have a good crossing branch. On the inside here and it crosses all the way over to this side of the branch over here but I don't, I don't hate it a crossing branch like that creates some interest so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep one two three four on it this one here I'm going to shorten because it's too long and leggy so that one's gone just get this one out of the way that's coming from another branch Right, now grab another branch. It's easier if you just grab one little branch at a time and just work down it. Just systematically work down that branch. Chopping off anywhere where there's more than two in one spot. Chop it back to two. Keep the two you like. Whatever direction you want the branch to go in, keep the ones that um, go in the direction that you want to go. For me, I like to go up and sort of fan out at the same time but if there is a big gap I will keep a downward one as well but I just like the upward looking growth on these things rather than all downward so chop that short one on the inside here could grow out to be a branch later no it's coming too too close to the inside so even if it fattens up it'll look a bit weird dead bit Dead bit, dead bit, shorten, okay, here we've just got a few dead bits, and once the dead bits are finished, we've just got to shorten, 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 and then you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight growing tips. And not at any point is there more than two at one location. So that's sort of how you want to do it. There's no hard and fast rules. If you've got a really bare area and the three branches really help hide that bare area, just keep three. It's not a hard fast rule. It's just that in the long run, if you do try to keep it to two as much as you can, you will end up with better structure in your trees. But yeah, not not hard and fast rule, but one that you want to sort of follow a bit. So we're cutting this back, cut that back. One on the inside here of the fork. One down here. So let's get rid of that one. Don't want one on the inside of the fork. Got another one growing over the top here from another branch. We will keep that. You can see this hasn't grown barely at all and there's a little bit of dieback and that's because it didn't get any sunlight. Right, this branch here. So it goes one to two. Dead bit. Now you've got four. So we've got to choose where we want to keep it. I don't want this bottom one growing down. So there's one decision gone. Now we've got three left here. I don't like this really straight bit here, so let's just chop that one off. What do we got left? See, the decisions can be quite easy. Now, a dead bit off, and there was no choices really to make, apart from didn't like the downward one, didn't like the straight one. Now we go from one to two to four, to shorten the really strong ones, 
and there you go. That branch is also done. Quite a simple process, you just got to methodically work through it. And us as amateurs, we get the luxury of time. We can work, take all day to work on this tree if we want to. We can think about it, study it. You don't need to snip fast. We can relax and chill out. For us, time is not money. Time is the enjoyment that we get out of it. So the longer it takes, theoretically, the more enjoyment we get out of it. Professional, well, they have to make money doing this, so they have to be quick and make snap decisions. Even if they are sometimes the wrong ones, they have to live with them because they don't have time to fuss. So theoretically, we can build just as good a tree in the long run as a professional because we can fuss, fuss over them more, you know. So cut that off, shorten that one. Shorten that one, shorten that one, there's only two there, so I can just shorten those two. Same with here, only two. And before you know it, we have, oh not quite, it's this one, four from here. So we will cut probably... Oh, this one here, even though it's growing down, is filling a bit of a void. So I'm going to keep that this time, the downward one. So you can change your methods halfway through. And I'm going to get rid of the one that comes sideways over here because there's plenty over here to cover in that area. That area, so we'll keep that one over there. Shorten that one on the inside. <coughs> also remember to rotate your trees if you don't rotate your tree and it's not in full sun or there's a bit of a shade on one side you'll end up with one side of your tree getting very very weak so we've got to make sure that we constantly rotate them or put them in a full sun area with no shade from anything this tree's been pretty much full sun so it's pretty well uniform around the whole thing but if i find a weak side or a weak branch so if this branch ends up being a bit too weak compared to the rest of the tree, I'll just face this towards the sun. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we should hopefully strengthen this side up and it should bud quicker and stronger than the rest of the branching. Right, this one here. Let's chop that one back short. That one back short. There's only two from any point. So it goes to one, to two, and now to three, because one of them didn't divide to two, it just stayed as a single. Chop it back to two, shorten. Dead bits out. You can keep dead bits in for a bit of interest if you want to, because all, all trees have dead twigs on them, so I don't hate on the fact of keeping a few dead twigs in there. Now here, I'll probably Chop this little weak one off underneath. Chop this one off with the flower on it. And shorten this one so you can see. There's the flower. Bottle brush flower. Quite pretty. When this whole tree is covered in flowers, it looks quite beautiful. Right, we've just got this little twiggy one in here. So you sort of let it relax to where it sits, and then you can decide which ones you like and you don't. I don't like that one underneath. Dead one here. One underneath here. One growing straight up back into the tree. Don't want that one. Then we'll just shorten and shorten. So now you've got one into two, plus a side shoot back here, a back bud from previous. I don't really like this straight section on here, but I'm, there's not much else there. So when this back buds, I'll probably cut this back to here somewhere. I could do it now, but I'll just let this side of the tree get a bit stronger first. And it should back bud with the sunlight on it now, and then I'll chop back later. So just gauge by how strong stuff is as to when you cut it back. And the type of tree you're working on, you've got to know your tree. Here's a dead branch completely in here. 
that one's dead. So what I'll do is I'll just naturally snap it off and then leave this dead section in here because that looks cool. Right. I'm going to head back to the rest of the tree. So you can see from the front, this branch in here is now done. If I lift all this out of the way. You can see that branch has been cut back quite severely. And it's all done. Now I'm going to do that to the rest of the tree. You can see the difference before or after, although the top is actually a bit strong on this tree. So let's do it. Let's do the rest of the tree. Good day. Welcome back. Well, here we go, guys. She's all trimmed the back. Got rid of a lot of the leggy branches. So as you can see, it used to be out here. Trimmed everything back hard. You can see it looks pretty bare. Trimmed the top harder than I trimmed the bottom. Got a lot of a lot of foliage here that I cut off. Um, because I didn't trim it earlier, a lot of this was wasted growth. But it has, you know, probably strengthened the roots. And it should shoot back pretty strongly now with such a big haircut. Um, that's it. So, you know, I uh, did a workshop with Marcella. And she said the worst thing you can do to a tree is not work on a tree. And I think I agree with that because if you don't work on a tree, it gets long and leggy. And then all that time is wasted. Sometimes it can give you a good branch. And fatten up some branches but in general consistency is what builds a good tree you've got to be consistent so I'm going to try and be consistent um, thanks guys for the video I'm not gonna promise too much in the way of videos but we'll put this one out there and see what happens give you guys a spin of the tree and I'll then show you up the skirt and show you the trunk with all the lichen and all the branches. So, give you a slow spin. And get my ugly mug out the way. So yeah, pretty cool tree. Hell of a lot of character. Give you a look into it. And catch you next time. Cheers.